pound for pound sports entertainment hit the like button comment below share do all of that right now if you haven't subscribed to the channel hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up button at the bottom of the screen that's right that little thumbs up button show support but with that being said it's your host f merit listen man multiple sources coming out saying that uzik tyson fury or you want to switch them up tyson fury versus uzik that fight is off we will not get an undisputed uh champion and heavyweight as of now right now unfortunately and it's really sad it's really sad that we can't even get the fight that we want at the heavyweight you guys have been negotiating and you set a deadline and Uzik and his team apparently accepted the 70 30 split they're gonna take 30 percent of that and that's cool great salute to them but the fact that you accepted the 30 percent and you still can't get the job done is sad yo it's really sad but i just want to make sure everyone starts putting pressure on these guys because if that's if this is the fight that you guys really want to see if you really want undisputed at the heavyweight division you guys you know as fans media whatever you guys should be pushing for these fights not only just pushing putting pressure on the fighters the managers or, or what you know whoever uh networks whatever they need to do to, to make these fights happen because it doesn't make any sense it really doesn't you guys have been negotiating for how long and you still can't come up with the fight like come on yo it what's the point of getting in the media getting all on social media going back and forth giving fans updates in, in my mind just shut up shut up don't say nothing until the fight is done when the fight is done then you come out and say something i think that's where boxing needs to go back to because too many people are leaking stuff. Too many people are out here just running their mouth. Too many people are out here spreading fake rumors, fake news, um, ridiculous updates. When you know that some people know in the back of their mind, they already know the fight's not going to happen. They already know they have a backup plan. And when speaking of backup plans, Uzik and his team have revealed that the backup plan for him will be Daniel Dubois. And, and Daniel Dubois has the WBA regular, so that makes sense. Cool, great. Joe Joyce is going to be taking on Zhang. Um, I think, I believe Joe Joyce is, Joe Joyce and Zhang are, take, are, are fighting each other for the WBO interim heavyweight championship. So, I mean, listen, Joe Joyce is already WBO mandatory, so now he's going to be getting the interim title. So it's only a matter of time before he actually gets his shot. And he's been waiting a long time. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Tyson Fury, I don't know what route he's going to go, but he has some options as well. Andy Ruiz has, has revealed that he is a, uh, you know, free agent. A Andy Ruiz versus Tyson Fury fight over in the UK. That's a big money fight. You can put it in Saudi Arabia. Andy Ruiz and his team has had, uh, you know, previous fight uh, experience dealing with Saudi Arabia as far as his business side of it. Um, Andy Ruiz is a former unified champion defeating uh, Anthony Joshua, you know, and then losing the rematch. But it is what it is, man. Andy Ruiz, he, he wants to fight. He wants to stay active. And I'm pretty sure if anyone brought this opportunity to him to fight Tyson Fury over in the UK for big money, he would uh, jump on, on the idea. So salute to Andy Ruiz. Also, another person that's potentially a, uh option for Tyson Fury is Francis Ngannou, who is a big money fight, UFC um, um champ, former UFC champion. You know, he, he left, but he got the belt with him or whatever. Um, that's a big money fight. A lot of people would pay money to see that spectacle of a event. Also, rumored it's a rumor that you know Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, the fourth fight could be happening. I don't know. Both guys were over in, in over in Saudi Arabia. If they pay you know the, the guys enough money, I'm pretty sure we can make that happen as well. So guys have options. But the fact that Uzik and Tyson Fury couldn't come together is sad. It's ridiculous. I'm just, I'm sick of, of the fans not getting the fights that they want. This is another example of, of the fans not getting the fight they, fights they want. And it's been a good year in boxing. So I thought this fight would get done. Unfortunately for the boxing fans, the fight has not been done. And both parties in Uzik and Tyson Fury will go separate directions. I'm just here to give you guys the update. With that being said, hit the like button, comment below, share, do all of that. I'm say it again, Uzik versus Tyson Fury fights off. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It's your host, F. Merritt, Pound for Pound Sports Entertainment. I'm out.